Hello class, it's Professor Streeter, and in this video we're going to talk about the week one assignment. Just to get started, the big goal for this week is to acquire the books and start reading some of the uh, assigned readings for week one, and thinking about them and taking notes. Share a little bit about yourself on the discussion forum, and start reading the syllabus, share any questions you have about the syllabus, and get to know the D2L shell for this course. Start navigating and just getting comfortable with it. And hopefully get to know each other a little bit by reading each other's posts in the introductory discussion forum. Okay, let me look at the web page together, then the home page. Here we are. This is our home page for ethics, and there's a bunch of announcements. As I uh, have reminded you in other videos, make sure to keep up with those. I update them regularly. <clears throat> then you can go directly to the weekly content menu here, <clears throat> scrolling down to week one. And here we've got the overview for the week. This is week is about introductions, introductions of me, introductions of yourselves, introduction to the book, and introduction to the, the D2L shell. Here's a bunch of videos you could watch um, on the books, on navigating this shell, on the weekly tasks and expectations for this ethics class. So scrolling down, then we get to course preparation. Again, focus on preparation. What, what do you need to do to prepare for this class? Read the syllabus. If you click here, that takes you directly to the link. Um, take this survey so I know a little bit about your online learning needs. Familiarize yourself with this shell. I have shared some videos and a slideshow about the topic for the, the first few weeks of the course. If you click here, it will take you there um, to a slideshow that I've shared with you and then a video about that slideshow. If you scroll down, we've also got a video by a, another source, uh, a philosopher named Richard Rowland at Oxford. This is from the Wi-Fi site that I think is really great. And here's a question that we'll be talking about for the first few weeks about pleasure. Is pleasure all that matters? That's one of our questions. Okay, so there's some videos that you can watch to help you think about the content of the course. Going back <clears throat> to week one, Um, I would like you to, after reading the syllabus, which if you click here, takes you, bam, to the syllabus, uh, I would like you to read this carefully, and if you have any questions, share them here in the class cafe. Sorry for all the clicking. <clears throat> so <clears throat> once you've read the syllabus, go to the class cafe, which you can find here, and share a question about it or a comment anything, just so I can see you know how to use the Class Cafe. You click Start a New Thread, enter the subject line here, uh, write a question or a comment, and then click Post. Okay, so that's, I just wanted to make sure you know how to use the discussion forums. Okay, and so this week, just make sure you share something about the syllabus. All right. Coming back to week one. Uh, I would like to meet you um, individually in the beginning of the semester. We can do that on campus. We can do that online. Sign up for a slot of time on Calendly. This is my calendar scheduling office hours. So make an effort to do that in the first couple weeks of the semester. And then the most important thing in the first few weeks is that you're reading and you're thinking about the books that we're reading. So there's two books. One by Schaefer Landau called The Fundamentals of Ethics. And the part of the reading assignment for this week is to look at his introduction, the first 19 pages, in which he introduces you to the themes of our course, what's involved in studying ethics and raising big ethical questions. Schaefer Landau is one philosopher, one person, presenting his own view on how to think about ethics in a broad way. Uh, you may have your own ideas, and that's okay if you look at uh, our topic differently than Schaefer Landau, but try to come into contact with Schaefer Landau enough to kind of see his point of view and see 
his vision for what we're going to be doing this semester and begin to think about what that means to you and how you would respond. The second book is an anthology called The Ethical Life, and that contains a bunch of readings by other philosophers. So we're going to be reading both books together. Think of the Schaefer Landau as giving you the bigger picture, the, the broad narrative, and some of the details of that narrative. Okay? And then think of the ethical life as other philosophers engaging in specific debates and arguments about more specific questions. And Schaefer Landau will address those, those texts that you're reading in Ethical Life. Okay, but he's kind of giving you the bigger picture. I hope that both books complement each other well for you. That's the idea. If you're having trouble understanding what someone is saying in The Ethical Life, go to Schaefer Landau and read his chapter on that section and see if that helps you understand what's going on. Okay. So in addition to reading the introduction, start looking at some of the selections from The Ethical Life. Our big question early on in the section called The Good Life is to ask, what is the good that we are seeking in life? Is there a highest good? And we'll begin with Mill and his idea about pleasure or happiness. He calls this hedonism. And the idea behind hedonism is that everything that we do in life is done for the sake of pleasure or for the sake of happiness. That the value of everything, everything that we desire, it gets its value from the value of pleasure or the value of happiness. So ultimately, the highest good, the greatest good that we can achieve in life is a life of pleasure or a life of happiness. That's the basic idea behind hedonism. And Mill explains that idea, tries to think through the implications of it. So begin looking at Mill. It's only about nine pages. He is a, a British philosopher from another century, and so the writing style might be a little tough at first, but I think you'll get a feel for it. See what you understand in Mill's writing, and take notes and begin tracking what you think he's arguing, what's his big idea. The second reading from The Ethical Life is by a guy named Robert Nozick, writing in a much more contemporary uh, idiom. He used to work at the University of um, uh, New York University in New York City. He recently died, but he writes this short piece called The Experience Machine, and he has a thought experiment there. Suppose you're plugged into a machine where you could experience all the pleasure that you could possibly desire. Okay. Uh, if pleasure is the only thing that matters, or the highest good in life, then it looks like maybe we, if we are given that choice, maybe we should just go for it and plug in. And this is Nozick's question, should we? Should we plug into that machine? The point of the thought experiment is to get you thinking about the idea of hedonism that John Stuart Mill defends. If pleasure really is the highest good, um, then why shouldn't we just plug into the machine? <laughs> so the thought experiment is, get, is supposed to get you questioning Mill's basic idea and, and wondering for yourself whether pleasure really is all that matters or not. Okay, so think about those two readings together. And then finally, there's a short piece by Kwame Anthony Appiah. He writes a weekly column in the New York Times on ethics. So you could, you could look for that if you are a New York Times reader. He's a living philosopher, very influential. And he, in a short piece, he's not really making an argument, he's trying to identify practices or institutions in our society that are in trouble from an ethical point of view. And the way in which he does this is by asking, well, suppose right, we project ourselves into the future. What will future generations think of us? Right? It's similar to asking, you know, looking into the past, what do we think of past generations? What kinds of practices do we criticize in the past? So put ourselves in, in that position, like what will people say about us in the future? And this is Appiah's way of raising a question about some of our basic practices and institutions and trying to, trying to uh, locate problems with them. 
The reason I want you to read this early in the semester is because it'll give you a way of thinking about ethical issues that you think are most important, right? This is Appiah's way of trying to identify the most important ethical issues that we face today by thinking about what the future generations will think about us. Um, it's giving you an opportunity to do that on your own, right? What are some of the big ethical issues that we, you think we face today? And how might you begin developing your thought about that? Because in the second half of the semester, I will ask you to write a, a longer essay in which you, you develop a view of your own about an ethical issue that's sort of close to your heart. Okay, so this is a, a chance to start thinking about that at the very beginning of the semester. That's the reading. The introduction from Schaefer Landau is the, the, is the focus of the quiz. So there's a short quiz to take. If you click here, it takes you to the quiz. And that will be uh, a timed quiz, and it will be due on Sunday of the first week of classes, okay? And there's five questions covering the introduction to Schaefer Landau's The Fundamentals of Ethics. Just, I wanna see that you read it, that you thought about it, that you tracked the basic idea, okay? And that you're able to use the quiz function. So there's a lot that that's, that's, that's um, what I'm looking for, that you know how to take quizzes and that you um, were able to track some of the basic ideas in the introduction to Schaefer Landau's book. Okay, the last two things to mention. Uh, the discussion forum for this week is, is to introduce yourself. So here's the, you click here. So by Wednesday or by the middle of the week, post an introduction of yourself. Here's some questions to think about, but just let us know something about you so we can get to know you. Uh, and then once you've posted that, you can go in and look at what other students have written and respond to one of your classmates. So this is a, a first attempt to kind of have a virtual conversation with each other by introducing each other, okay? Um, so that's something to do this week. And then finally, coming back, sorry for all the clicking, Um, <clears throat> we have a, a, a personal reflection assignment that is due next week. And so you can find all of the links to these things here. Um, so the, the slideshow and videos, the class cafe, the class introductions, the quiz. Here is the personal reflection assignment. And um, oops. I, sorry, I have to uh, do a different, but you know what? I'm going to um, do a different video explaining that assignment. Um, okay, so, but let me just lay it out for you and then I'll, I'll do another video showing you how to access the assignment and uh, submit it uh, uh, to the folder. But the, the, the first piece of writing that I'd like you to do is a personal reflection. Um, and just thinking about what it means to you to aim at happiness. Like what is happiness and what's involved in your own case in pursuing it? So the goal then is to tell a story about yourself that illustrates in some way how you structure your life around the pursuit of happiness. And then once you've told that story, reflect on the story, analyze it, and explain the concept of happiness that you see emerging from your story. So what does happiness mean to you in the context of the story that you've told? Okay. So again, this is a personal reflection, it does not require doing any reading yet, but just thinking, It's a it requires doing some thinking. Right? How do you aim at happiness in your life? What does that look like? And what does it mean to aim for happiness? Okay, that's the first piece of writing and that'll be due next week, but I will share another video explaining the nuts and bolts of submitting your homework. Okay, that's all for now. Hope this was useful, just helping you navigate the week one assignments. Okay.